Today is the first annual corridor cook-off. Everyone is out trying to figure out what they're gonna make for Judge Nico and how they're gonna present it. Grubhub has agreed to sponsor this video, and as a result, the winner of this great cook-off will be getting to order Grubhub for an entire week. That's right, at home, at night, during the day for lunch, at the studio, no matter the price point, for a week on the house. What the guys don't know, I'm just gonna order Grubhub myself and present it to Nico and it's easily gonna be the best meal. Which means that I only have to make one order and I get to eat free for life for a week. There's two things I take very seriously. Anywhere. Competition and cooking. Just, just frying up some strawberry just a little bit, get that warm. Maybe a little crisp on the outside. A simple Italian sandwich, really. I like to keep it pretty straightforward. I'm making a turkey sandwich, dude. It's gonna be delish. It's an old SF recipe. Learned it at a Chinese restaurant. So I'm not really much of a cook. So I was like, all right, what is the most efficient thing that I can cook in a certain amount of time? Chicken noodle soup. Ha. I'm ordering right now. Nico's, Nico's a pretty classy guy. I'm gonna get him a fish dish. I'm gonna get him a little dessert side, a little baguette, something French. He seems like, you know, he's kind of got a little bit of that going on. So, you know, I don't want, I don't want it to be too fancy because then people might get suspicious. Take care. I hear you're judging today's uh, corridor cooking competition. Listen, I'm trying to remain impartial. I'm going to with withhold from saying anything until I taste the food. Guys, uh, Judge Nico's here, so uh, get ready. Hello, Nico. Hey, Christian. What I have prepared for you is a hot Italian sandwich with pastrami and peppers and cheese. Presentation's nice. Cheese perfectly melted. Let's see how it tastes. It's not bad that I question the thickness of your salami slices. They kind of make it hard to bite through. So this is a home uh, meal, chicken noodle soup. It's great. Honestly, it's kind of dominated by noodles. It looks more like carrot noodle soup than chicken noodle soup. Mmm, room temp. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was hot. It used to be hot. So I took all these, all these little ground meats. I went all around the streets and I gathered them up. I gathered them up with my little dust pan and I pressed them together just for you. Caramelized onions. I know you like hamburgers and I know you love all those little meats that are hanging around. So I picked them all up, put them in one place for you. Enjoy. All right. The slice of avocado look uh, enticing. I'm impressed that the lettuce is not overly hanging off the sides. But it's all coming out one side. Seem to have a bit of a structural malfunction. Yeah. I mean, you might have recommended a toothpick through the center next time. You're right. You're right, boss. You can take a look at this turkey sandwich. American classic. It's cold, it's hard, it's dead, it tastes like high school. I like the simplicity. You one might call this a rustic turkey sandwich. The bread could use some toasting, maybe a little more either butter, mustard, mayonnaise, some sort of condiment. Turkey tastes decent, but a little simple. Nico, this beautiful meal I call Gibraltar. Okay, because it stands above the rest. Hence the baguette side next to yesterday caught Pacific fish right there. Yesterday? Okay. Yesterday. Today, today's catch. I wouldn't leave you hanging with just a simple entree. You're gonna finish it off with a little slice of New York cheesecake. A little imposing, perhaps, but I appreciate the creativity. So the fish is light and flaky, well seasoned. I like to cleanse my palate after a meal with something a little sweet. Mm, the graham cracker crust. Fresh cheese, <laughs> fresh frosting on the top. Myself. Okay, I think I made my decision. Jake Watson, with what was it called? The monument? Yeah, the, the, the Gibraltar. The Gibraltar. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm gonna go order some lunch. First thing, Thai. I love Thai food. I'm actually into the the curries. I'm gonna go for the chicken curry. Dinner time, tacos. So I've been eating off Grubhub for about four days now, and I've been eating so much good food that I'm kind of even getting sick of food at this point. Like, I, I know that's awful to say, but I've literally been eating at every restaurant I've wanted to eat at from around town. Yeah, you've every just kind of been back cool. here, just chilling. Yeah, yeah. are you guys, are you, you're filming something? Oh, uh, so, funny thing, actually. Um, so I was just taking a look through the accounting, some of the bank statements, because um, on the day, we're, remember when we're cooking all that food for Nico? That mm -hmm. Yeah, when so, I want all this awesome food, yeah. I don't that, know. Uh, what I noticed though is that actually on the statement it says actually in that morning before we even did this there was an order for a fish dish uh, from a fish place and 
really funny because that's what you gave Nico, which is fish. So I'm just I'm starting to think, putting two and two together here. Uh, I'm thinking you're cheating. For a brief moment in time, I actually thought you were an incredible chef. And now I'm starting to realize, actually, if you fake this whole thing. I just, the food, just I just thought of food, it blinded me, man. I'm no, it's just, I think, um, I think it'd just be best if you just took off for a little, maybe just take the rest of the day off here and just uh, let us all kind of just have a little time alone uh, with without you here. So gizmo duck effects, man, you learn anything cool that's worth sharing? Yeah, I was just, uh, I had a lot of practice in uh, Particular, which is a piece of software for After Effects. Hey, yeah, I used to be just like you. Jake? What are you doing out here? Peter? How you doing, man? Why are you in a wool suit? I threw it all away for a couple of hot lunches, don't you remember? Are you talking about the Grubhub thing? That was like three days ago. I don't think anybody remembers that. What? Really? Well, I, I messed up. It's probably gonna take me a while to regain the trust of the rest of the guys, but thank God for Peter, you know? I didn't really notice him before, but he's a great guy. I'm gonna start paying more attention to him and asking him how he's doing and, and, and making sure that he feels that he's a part of this, you know? Because without him, I wouldn't be back here making YouTube videos, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Well, it's the truth. Oh, didn't see you there. You caught me in a moment of self-reflection. I'm thinking about how I can treat my coworkers a little bit better. Also, thanks to Grubhub for sponsoring this video. Did you know that they're the largest food delivery service in the nation with over 50,000 restaurant options in 1,100 cities? You can get the food that you're craving whenever you want, wherever you are. Also, you can get $7 off your first order by going to- The link in the description. No free trials. Just go there, get seven bucks off a meal. Thank me later.